So I want to raffle on Instagram. Good things happen to good people. What's good YouTube, Ash Bash, back again with another video. And this is gonna be a bit more of a sort of vlog style review with a proper sneaker review at the end of the video. But yeah, kinda got lucky with um, Offspring Raffle. I think this is the second time I've ever won, but this one proper caught me out of the blue. Like, they posted it on their Instagram and said, yeah, we post this picture, tell us your size, and you win or you're not win. So I posted it, but I've got two Instagram accounts. One which is my main one, which I use for sneakers, Ash Bash Sneakers. Then I've got my other one, which is sort of not my private one, but it's my old account. Whatever, that's the one that I use for the raffle, because I don't want to clog up my feed with all those posts and stuff. So I've posted it on there, kind of forgotten about it. I'm now checking, like this is like days, days later. I'm checking on in um, YouTube to see what size, how the size runs for these sneakers because I'm looking to enter some more raffles on end and whatnot. Then I just so happen to go onto my other Instagram account, scrolling through the likes and all that, because I, ha I have hardly any likes because I hardly post on it these days. And I saw like a reply from Offspring and I'm like, what? wait a second, no, what? And it said something about, yeah, um, DMS by Thursday or something like that and I was like, it is way past Thursday right now. It was like Thursday the 5th or something crazy like that, like time ago. And I'm thinking, sugar, I have totally blown it and missed out on that. So I replied to them anyways and they said, yep, yeah, cool, good to go, pick it up. So I'm like, oh, thank God it went through. So I'm gonna head off to Offspring in central London, Oxford Street in Selfridges right now. Figured I would vlog it while I'm going there, why not? So let go. Now back to my favourite slash least favourite part. What to wear, what to wear. Wearing a black and blue tee. So some sort of blue sneakers. Sounds like the way to go. Might be a Jordan 1 thing, maybe. Or a Jordan 4 thing. That's not gonna go. We shall see. We have a winner. Yo, that was stressy stress. So I get in there, speaking to the lady, and she goes, yeah, I don't see your name on the list. Are you sure it's for this pair? I'm like, you just read the Instagram. It obviously is. Turns out she's looking at the wrong list. Got my pair. We are good to go. And I'm back home. Yeah, it wasn't much of a vlog in the end. I decided halfway through that, yeah, I really couldn't be asked to do it. And it's been so long since I've actually recorded a vlog outside. I feel like I've forgotten how to do it. I'm now a bit embarrassed when I take my camera out in public, even though it's Oxford Street and nobody's paying me attention. I've got glasses on, but yeah. Anywho, what's good guys, Ash Bash, back again with another video and this is my review for the Off-White times Nike Zoom Fly Miracle. I think that's how you say it. Anywho, so yeah, super duper surprised I actually managed to cop these. I nearly missed out on the Offspring raffle as I was saying, it's still crazy, crazy, crazy. Luckily it wasn't pick up on the day they had the whole week to pick it up, so I picked it up today. Finally got them in hand. So let's show you what they're like. So first of all, I'm gonna admit and say I don't know too much about this sneaker model in general. Uh, the Zoom Fly has been something that's been slightly on my radar, but from what I remember when I was checking out the price, 
it was pretty high for retail so I never really considered buying a pair for retail then they had the 4% ones I'm not sure if it was the 4% ones that were expensive I don't know there's a lot of models that kind of look similar to me but anywho this is the off-white ones so yeah box is pretty damn cool it's got loads of stuff on it there's a writing which you can tell your general off-white stuff it says off-white for night zoom fly miracle beaverton oregon usa as you expect now the size the size i remember before i went and did my raffles for offspring and whatnot i was trying to find out what size to get for these I think it was Sean Goh's video that I checked out. He had the original pair from the 10 and he said that they ran super duper snug. Like compared to the regular Zoom Flies, they fit well tighter. So I think I went with that and I went up sort of like a half a size more than what I've been getting in Nike lately. Like lately my Nike true to size seems to be 10 and a half rather than my UK 10. So I went for a UK 11. Kind of thinking it was a big mistake after seeing how the toe box is on the sneaker it probably was a mistake so we shall see but anywho let's open it up show you the kicks first off tissue paper inside is very cool it's got the standard off-white stuff where it's got the brackets and it says paper inside there and it's got these yellow circles all over it i believe i'm pretty sure 99 percent sure this is from the sort of like football pack that is put out it's put out a bunch of jerseys some football shirts, uh, some t-shirts as well. I think a jacket. I didn't win any of that stuff on the raffle and most of it I wasn't really feeling anyways. There's a thing with off-white, it's super good, but generally it's like the super bait pieces that I like. The ones with the stripes down the side and the big logo on the back. Other than that, I'm generally not interested. Oh, and generally the prices are crazy. But we're not here to talk about apparel, we're here to talk about sneakers. So boom, here are the kicks in all their glory and first of all I'm going to say these are super duper light I thought my um, epic reacts were light but these are super light I believe these are like a proper proper running shoe the um, zoom fly pretty sure that is what the actual purpose is just like the reacts but these are even more so much a running shoe but obviously it's the off-white version so it's got some little extras to it so Let's get down to the close-ups and show you some more stuff with this sneaker. So all of this shoe is made out of Flyknit, pretty standard material these days for anything that Nike is doing when it comes to sort of running and all that. So it's going to be super duper breathable and not great if you're in the rain. But yeah, all over Prime Knit, the one part of the shoe I'm seeing that I don't like and what I was telling you about was this area right here, the toe box. It is super big and super round and there is no way my toe is going to be filling this out so while it's got this in sock got this um paper in a moment pushing it up i can imagine when it's out it's going to be mm, dented or whatever so maybe you would want a snugger fit than what i've gone for with half a size big i'm not looking forward to this but anywho yeah the design wise pretty much a standard shoe to be honest it's got this nike swoosh hair i'm not sure what material that is but it looks like it's sort of painted on probably not painted on but so nice swoosh like that, then it's got this white circle here, another blue circle here, and at the back of the shoe, it's got this circle in vault, and it's got some writing on it. It says, engineered to the exact specification of championship athletes. So I believe it's either this shoe or the 4%, one of them that was used for one of the marathons or something like that to break the record. So I guess that's the whole engineered thing. And inside the shoe has the standard off-white Beaverton, all that information that you get on, I think pretty much every off-white night collab on the tongue flying it tongue again it says engineered for speed for personal use <laughs> well <laughs> don't know what else it'd be useful but that's pretty cool and the laces it says shoelace on it like it does if all off-whites but these laces are different to the standard off-white laces i did get the air max 90s back last year or whenever that was and they had the sort of lace like shoelace but these only come with one pair of shoelaces. Just the black, no orange, no green, no white. Very disappointed in that. I think it would have looked way cooler with a little lace swap. Don't know if you can buy them on eBay, you probably can, probably put someone selling some fakes to change up, make it look a bit cooler. But yeah, one pair of laces, that's pretty much not great. And also, none of the, the tag as well, I can't remember what you call that. 
the zip tag, zip lock, whatever you call that. That's not on the shoe either. So I don't know why not, but it's not. Inside the shoe, the insole's pretty cool. It's got the off-white sign in there. It says logo in vault. Pretty damn nice. And on the midsole, again, something that you get with a lot of off-white sneakers. It says foam hair for the foam midsole. Pretty damn cool. In the orange pair, it is white with black text, whereas this is black with white text. Then it's got this little pattern here where it goes through different colors, like a rainbow towards the toe box. Super, super soft foam to make it comfortable. People are saying these are super comfortable sneakers, so as long as you get the right size, I'm sure it'll be good for you. And the bottom of the shoe as well, black. Don't think it's got any writing on there, pretty standard. And yes, that is the end of this little tour around this sneaker. Pretty damn dope. As I said, the only thing putting me off is this toe box, which I think is gonna be a big fail for me when it comes to trying it on. But let's try it on and see what it's like. And we back. So that was a quick look at the Off-White Times Nike Zoom Fly Miracle on foot. And yeah, size wise, I don't think this is gonna work for me, you know. It is, my toe is right kind of near the front. So I think 10 and a half maybe would have been perfect, but maybe might have been snug in between the two. But still, it is just a bit too much space on the toe. I don't know if I like that or not. And for the price, I don't know if it's worth keeping it for that. So I don't know. I might have to move these on or return it or something because if I'm not gonna be wearing it all the time, why spend all that money on a pair, you know? Could have spent it on something else. Like I'll gladly swap these for the Nike Max Safari, which size shagged me on. But yeah, is what it is. Not a successful pickup, I would say. A little bit let down with that. If the shape of the shoe wasn't so round and clown-like at the toe box, I think it could have been a winner because it was pretty comfortable trying it on, to be fair. I didn't have it on for long, but it was pretty comfortable, but I don't know if it's for me. Anywho, so for sizing wise, if anyone else needs any help, I've seen other videos and someone has said true to size fits them perfectly. And for me, I went technically half a size up and it's a little bit too much space. So probably true to size would be fine. Half a size up, not so great because as I said, big toe box area so something to look out for that's the end of my video hopefully you enjoyed like comment subscribe um, hit that bell icon to get a notification every time I upload I upload videos every single Monday with my waffle on topics and reviews as and when I pick stuff up anywho Ashbash signing off later y'all